We've already configured a run configuration. Click the Run button and let it complete the deployment procedures. I like to monitor the deployment by using this bare tail utility to examine the runapp.log file. It's in the application directory. At this point shown here, it has already completed 75% of the deployment. Right now it's preparing to build a WAR file. It's building the WAR file now. Now it's getting ready to hand over the deployment to XMS. You can see that the deployment is now at 87% and it has handed the deployment over to XMS. It is at this point where the Run in Background button is enabled. If we click that button now, it will continue to deploy in the background. One thing to note here is that it says it's going to skip artifact deployment. This is because we're using the Maintain Data Policy in the Run configuration and it has recognized that there is no data to maintain. Notice that it has identified my Student 73X machine as the XMS server on port 7000. The app server is identified as C colon TC server apps instance web apps XMS agent web imp work. Also notice that the deploy method is incremental and that the data policy is maintain. After a few more minutes it will connect to the test application server. Remember the one on port 8000? That's the one under the TC server XCP instance directory. Now it's updating the BAM server on port 7000. Almost done. Finished. It shows here that it took almost five minutes. In the real world it'll take much longer. XCP Designer 2.1 includes a preview mode, which we like being able to use to avoid having to wait so long between testing your changes.